Hi and welcome back. I wake up every morning reading the science news and one of the intriguing things that has existed in science for many years is the thought experiment. Einstein did it and look where it brought him. But today Avi Loeb has come up with this intriguing thought experiment that we are the Martians. So what is a thought experiment? It's a way of thinking about something which you can't really work on or prove, but they can be a springboard for concepts which you could then investigate. So sit back and join me today with the concept that everything on Earth is actually Martian. I think it's really intriguing that you can find bits of Mars here on Earth. Rocks that have been flung up into space from Mars have crossed over to Earth, re-entered our atmosphere and are lying on the dirt. There are many examples like this bit of Mars here on Earth. So the concept of stuff flying from Mars to Earth is the first part this intriguing puzzle. So allow me to take you back millions of years. There up in the night sky is this beautiful planet called Mars. Verdant, oxygen-rich atmosphere, liquid water, a haven of life. Plant life, single cell and maybe multi-cell life existed on Mars many years ago. And then catastrophe happened. An incoming comet or multiple asteroids hit planet Mars and threw it all up into the air. The plant life, the complex life, the water, the rocks, the soil, the dirt, all made it up into space and headed towards planet Earth. So what was Earth like at the time? Well, this is fascinating. Avi claims that Earth used to be the mirror image of what we are today, anaerobic, not oxygen loving. All life on planet Earth hated oxygen. So let me unpick the oxygen riddle. Oxygen is horrible. Oxygen is burning. Oxygen is death. When you strike a match, it's fast oxidization. A flame is stuff aging and burning and turning into dust. Your car that you leave in the rain rusts. Last year you were younger because today you've oxidized or aged. Oxygen is the flame of life. We burn bright and briefly in this oxygen rich environment. I always think that if aliens come here, they would hate it because it's one of the nastiest places. We are these strange bottom dwelling oxygen creatures that crawl around on this rocky planet. They would definitely have to wear a spacesuit. So what happened next? Earth is this anaerobic, oxygen-hating planet, and all this crap falls on Earth. Water, bits of plant life, and stuff that makes oxygen. It wiped out life on Earth completely. Nothing could survive on this corrosive Martian atmosphere. But slowly the Martian life re-emerged. Single cells became multi-cell creatures, new plants emerged, produced more oxygen in our atmosphere, making it more and more like their ancient Mars. The single cell creatures became multi-cell, they became whatever, and then they ended up in a basement somewhere. It, yeah, they became us. So, because of a catastrophe on oxygen-rich Mars, anaerobic oxygen-hating Earth became a mirror image of the planet Mars, and we are the Martians. Now, it's great, isn't it? I love this. Even Quatermass in the Pit thinks we are the Martians. I can't wait for the day that we find fossil evidence of life on Mars, and we need to find early fossil evidence here on Earth to show that Earthlings used to be anaerobic. And today, we are the same as the fossil that they will hopefully find any day now on Mars, because we are the Martians. Oh, thank you, Happy. It's a great experiment. And to end the classic Fermi paradox, where is everybody? They're here. We are the aliens. Thanks for watching.
peace, love, happiness in 2023. And remember, because of you, the truth is out there.